Hey Hermits of YouTube, it's your band Harley. I'm so excited today. We will be getting into the 3.1 Archon quest. Sounds like it's going to be a doozy. I'm really excited to see Scaramouche and Tatore. So let's get right into it. Enjoy. God, that's cute. What the hell? Ah, cute. That's a long cooldown. What the hell? Ah, oh, the different ones each time. Why is the cooldown so long? That makes no sense. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with two different identities to choose from. This is adorable. Come up with some for you. That's cute. Time to go. Wee. Meow meow. Meow. <clears throat> uh, what are you doing? I'm looking for my kittens. Normally they respond to my call. Is my pronunciation off today somehow? I've been calling them for ages and none of them have answered. How strange. What did you mean by your pronunciation today being surprise. off anyway? Well, I was calling their names actually, just in the language of cats. <laughs> After all, they wouldn't necessarily understand if we call them in our language, right? Eh? Well, you do have a point there. Still, I'm getting nowhere shouting myself hoarse like this. Traveller, I'd like to ask you a serious question. Leave it to me. Would you like to learn the language of cats? What? Eh? You mean you're going to teach us how to talk to cats? Well, I've spoken to cats before. You mean Neko? But she can speak our language. That doesn't really count as cat talk. Indeed. Still, in exchange, you will need to help me find a cat. Looks like each city has its unique way of looking for cats. Eh, that's true. If you think about it, we've helped people find cats in quite a few cities by now. We have. Should we say that everyone just loves cats, or that everyone who owns a cat has the same problem? So you agree? Why, thank you so much. No problem, I guess. <clears throat> now, listen carefully. This is the outline of cat language that I've been working on for a long time. The one that has slipped out for a date today is a grey and black striped cat called Roseanne. In cat language, you would call for it by saying meow meow meow, meow meow meow. Both sets of meows are quick sounds, so make sure you don't draw. Meow meow meow, meow meow meow. <laughs> Actually, let me write a note for you. Wait just a moment, will you? What the fuck is this quest? <laughs> Thank you very much, Trevor. I'll be waiting for you here. I hope that your talk with the cat goes well. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's up there. Another one bites the dust, another one bites the dust, and another one gone, and another one gone, another one bites the dust. Hey, I'm gonna get you to another one bites the dust. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> meow? It's your turn to meow, Harley. Come on, you can do it. Meow 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 Oh, you brought the kid back. Thank you so much. Well, it looks like you're doing pretty well with cat talk. Here, please take this as compensation. There aren't many people who can pick up cat language this fast. You know, I could even use your help in the future. Yeah. Hey, you can speak normally. Miss Sarah is not a cat. I can see from your face that you were trying to say my pleasure, but your pronunciation still has room for improvement, I think. It's okay, though. I'll keep teaching you about cat language. We'll learn together. <laughs> What's it? Stella, I swear to god. Okay, here we go. Ad Astra Avisask. We meet again, you two. Hi. Oh. Would help if I clicked auto. Hi, Catherine. Do you have any commissions for us today? Commissions, huh? Hmm. Let me 
think. Oh, how about this? Please attend the Academia's Academic Symposium this afternoon and recite a love poem on stage. What? Uh, wait, say what now? And if possible, please also use your camera to capture the reaction of the audience <laughs> upon finishing the poem. What? <laughs> huh? What kind of commission is that? The audience would definitely have a reaction. I see. It appears that you're not interested in this commission. In that case, please go to Port Armos and convince the Aramites there to spend some time volunteering at the local orphanage. What? Hey, that's not any better. Mercenaries and orphanages really don't go together. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the mercenaries will have some interesting reactions as well. <laughs> gotta ask just who exactly has been submitting these commissions to the adventurers guild oh the commissioner mm, well actually i just wanted to see the two of you in action you want to hate it right <laughs> was it so obvious <laughs> i was hoping you would actually take one of those commissions that kind of chance to observe humans doesn't come by often ah so it's Nahida. Paimon just knew Catherine wouldn't crack those kinds of jokes. When did you get into her head? <sighs> From when she said, add Astra out of Sosk. So it's been you this whole time? <laughs> <sighs> Are you done resting up, Nahida? Yes. I've been sleeping ever since we parted ways. And I even had a really, really long dream. So the Akasha can't take away the dreams of gods? It was another dream about the Subzerus festival, except it was a happy one. Oh. In my dream, I was sitting in the middle of a flower terrace, and everyone in Sumeru City was holding hands as they danced in circles around me. Mm -hmm. They danced round and round, and everyone looked really happy. I also got to sit on a gigantic flower carriage. Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, raised me really, really high above the ground. And I was throwing an endless amount of Yalda candies at the children. You know, mm. Nahida, maybe your dream is how the Subzerus Festival really should be. It's meant to be a joyous time where everyone gets together to celebrate your birthday. Yeah. Uh huh? Wasn't I describing a really happy dream? Why are you both <laughs> looking at me like that? Wait, could this be an example of the emotion known as pity? <laughs> no, no, we are pitying you. That would only make everything worse. We just don't want you to feel too sad. By the way, have you had a chance to visit Dunyarzad? How's she doing? The Homiyanis haven't allowed any visitors after the festival, so we haven't been able to check on her. Yes, I paid her a visit right after I woke up. She was resting at the time. Her condition is stabilized. However, since Elazar mm. is a manifestation of the living of the human body, we can only cure it by finding a way to take care of Ermin Salt's own withering. But for the moment, our top focus should still be figuring out what the sages are up to and what they're planning. Okay. Right. Who knows what will happen if they manage to pull off another scheme like the Samsara of the Subzerus Festival. So, our first priority should be investigating and putting a stop to the Sage's activities. As for how we should pull that off, let's discuss it somewhere else. There are too many adventurers around here. Whose legs we can oh, see, I guess. Good point. Uh, sorry adventurers! We're gonna be borrowing Catherine for a little while. <laughs> My face. <laughs> Dreams, emptiness, deception. Sounds like my Friday night. What? It's so weird not having her here. Time to go. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Oh, literally just here. <laughs> Let's continue what? our chat here. <laughs> There's just as many people. Okay. There's just as many people here. Do you have any ideas on how we can investigate the sages, Nahida? <laughs> Shut up, Cameron. Actually, I've already done a little bit of work on that. But for now, I want to hear your thoughts. 
possess a key figure in the academia, possess a student and infiltrate the sages' quarters. We could grab someone close to the sages and question them. Possess a key figure. I've already tried that. But all the key members of the academia, mm. even the core 30 guards, intentionally avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. It seems that from the very beginning, they've been guarding against info leaks from the Akasha. Of course, it could also be because they're weary of me. Have you already mm -hmm. caught the sage's attention? I'm guessing not yet. But this trusting me would make perfect sense if they've ever paid attention to the urban legends about me. <laughs> In any case, I probably can't take over their minds directly. Possess a student and retreat the sage's quarters? No way, that's too risky. You mean, it'd be too easy to get caught? No, it's not that. We shouldn't involve innocent students in this. A single mistake could completely ruin this is their true. lives. Doing that would be ignoring the safety of my people for my own selfish goals. How is that any different from what the sages are doing? That's a good point. Spoken like the god of Temeru! We could grab someone close to the sages and question them. We're in the dark as of now. Since we still don't know anything about their goals, any rash move could tip them off and lead to terrible consequences. After all, every person in Sumeru City is one of their hostages. True. I can't think of anything else. Are we really out of ideas? Nahida, you're super smart, so you already have something in mind, right? Don't keep us in suspense. I mean, she has the of wisdom. The beans already. According to a popular theory from the Bahumana Darshan of the Academia, rejecting impractical motions at the beginning of a planning session will give more weight to the actual proposal. Okay, okay, <coughs> but aren't you the god of wisdom? You don't have to use that kind of gimmick to make us take your ideas seriously. Well, I've been thinking that if I can't directly possess the leaders, and if I can't get ordinary people involved, then I should find someone who's already involved, but hasn't decided to side with the sages. You're saying we should recruit a spy? Hmm, that does sound like it could work. Oh, before coming back, we met someone named Al Haytham. He seems like he acts alone, and he likes doing stuff behind the academia's back. Mm. They probably aren't in cahoots. Actually, I already have someone in mind. Do you still remember that female scholar named Sataria? No. <laughs> Sataria. Paima remembers now. Isn't oh, she the one who's her. always trailing behind the Grand Sage of the Academia? But she would we be ran on the... into her basically every time the sub Festival repeated itself. You could even say we Wouldn't she be on the side of the Sages? Right now. Paima still remembers the smug and mean way she always spoke to Nilu. Mm-hmm. I've always liked observing all kinds of people, and Sataria has always stood out from the crowd. She was born in the desert, and was hailed as their greatest genius. Her academic gifts allowed her special admission into the academia, and also gave her the opportunity to serve as the sage's assistant. Oh, Paimon didn't know she was from the desert. She must be pretty special then. Paimon feels like most of the desert dwellers around the city are working as mercenaries. The name Sitaria means star. When she lived in the desert, she shone like the brightest star in the night sky. Later on, she was chosen by the sun. The star was given a place in the daytime sky to complement the sun's dazzling light. The sun Soon being, after, the um, star witnessed Rukudabata. the sun scorching the earth, which brought forth many disasters. The star began to waver. Instead of staying beside such a sun, wouldn't it be better to return and light up part of the night sky? But in the end, she couldn't give up the radiance of daytime. To cope with her shame, the star buried her guilt and closed her eyes. This is no longer just a metaphor. From the sound of it, Satari is just hung up on the research opportunities here. But she doesn't really support the academia. She still feels guilty about not doing more for the desert, right? 
She's just running away from her problems. Indeed. When they are presented with complex moral issues, many people will simply plug their ears and go with the flow until the problem can't be fixed anymore. Yeah. She's suppressing a lot of guilt. But before she realized it, she had already become the sage's accomplice. She can't deny her part in their schemes anymore. Sounds like exactly the person we right. need. We must somehow make her face her problems again. That way, mm -hmm. not only can we get useful intel from her, but she can also use it as an opportunity to redeem herself. From my past observations, Sitaria will take a day off from the academia every 10 days to do some shopping in the city. Tomorrow afternoon just mm. happens to be a shopping day for her. That'll be our chance. To prepare, let's go check out some of her favorite spots and have a quick chat with a few of the vendors there. Okay. Gather information as instructed by Nahida. Wait, where am I going? Time to go. Oh, don't hate me. Follow the wind. This should be Sataria's favorite fortune telling spot. <laughs> Everyone has one. <laughs> so should we ask the fortune teller about Sataria? No, I already have enough information on Sataria. The most important thing now is for you to pay attention to the vendor's talking style and key characteristics. Talking <laughs> style and key Only a little bit. characteristics? Hi, Zach. How are you? Lost lands. Have you become troubled over your fate? The divine Bruh. voice of wisdom often echoes between mine ears. If thou be blessed today by the gods, I may be able to show you the way. It was just um, some what? adventurers walking really? in front of the camera. <laughs> so. Nina, you've been whispering things to her? Shh. <clears throat> My friend here has some doubts regarding her future. Can we get a fortune reading for her? Of course, of course. In that case. <gasps> Good luck. You got this, Zach. Uh, oh, it would seem that Harut and Marut are quite wary of you. Perhaps, at some time in the past, you have somehow offended the gods. Hmm. It'd be like that. Only mocking the god of animals, <laughs> questioning the lord of Geo's financial savviness, and brawling with the god of Electro. Do those count? Hmm? No. Nothing. Go on, pick an aspect for her to divine. <laughs> oh, yeah. We do be fucking with gods. Divine my prospects in love. Love prospects? <laughs> no problem at all. Um. Um. <laughs> the gods have spoken. The truth shall be revealed. One who is fated to cross your path will appear on. On. Huh? So. So many people will fall for you. How could that be? I am pretty hot, Marut, I'm not gonna lie. Marut, did you two spoil my divination? I've never read a fortune so absurd. <laughs> uh, actually, Paimon thinks this is probably the most accurate fortune telling you've ever done. <coughs> I admit that the orientation of today's celestial matrix is uh, suboptimal. As such, there will be no charge. Is that so? Well,. That can't be helped. If you were to bring some food offerings for Hart and Mart on your next visit, perhaps they could help you reverse the wheels. Why would I want to reverse loads of people falling for my character? That that seems like a good time. Gather information. Oh. Time to go. Is 
Is this another one of Sataria's favorite stalls? Yep. It belongs to a king. His father helped Sataria a lot when she first moved to Samari City, so she still comes by whenever she has time. When I start talking with him, listen carefully to the details of our conversation. Ah, dear customers, would you like to look at some pottery? We I did not expect that voice. Great craftsmanship, so we specifically came to take a look. Oh, I recognize you. Aren't you Miss Catherine from the Adventurers Guild? <laughs> Sounds like I'm in for some big business. Speaking of, where did you learn this trade? I suppose you could say it all started with my dad. He's a mason by trade, but I picked up an interest in clay while apprenticing for him. After that, I began making pottery by myself in secret. And I simply changed trades when my works turned out well. Although it's a pity that I'm no longer making much use of the knowledge provided to me by the Akasha. That's nice! You're making a living doing something you love! Hmm. You mentioned that. So is your father still working as a mason? Oh no, not anymore. A few years back, he fell from a roof and broke his leg. Since he had already saved enough mora over all these years, he's just enjoying the retired life in Port Ormos nowadays. I see. We wish him peace and happiness in his retirement. I'll have someone in charge of logistics at the guild come by another day for some goods. We'll leave you to it. Take care now. No problem. Rest easy, all our goods are sure to meet your every need. Shishan. This should be our final stop. Sitaria's always thinking of this restaurant when she's working at the Academia. So she always comes by whenever she's out in the city. Nahida, you've really thought of everything. <laughs> it's my duty to protect Samiri citizens, after all. Hi there. I feel like I've seen you down by the docks before. Huh? Sorry, I don't quite remember. If I recall, you were having a discussion with someone about shipbuilding at the time. Ah, oh, that's right! I've always been really interested in feats of marine engineering. After all, I grew up in Leeway Harbor and spent my entire childhood staring at the ships going in and out of the port. I came to Sumeru to study, but failed to make it into the academia due to my lack of talent. That's so but harsh. I'm, I'm just still not talented. discussing all kinds of problems with different scholars. And I'm continuing to study and perform research from the restaurant's basement. I'm sure I'll get to the academia after their next round of exams. I'm not talented, but I'm going to try again. An admirable spirit for learning. Amazing. Uh, sure. But you'll find hardworking people wherever you go. I won't don't take this from so this, this poor lady. this restaurant has a basement as well? Huh. First I've heard of it. That's right. It's not usually open to patrons. Most of the time, employees use it for breaks or to hold private events. I see. Yes, that makes sense. Well, good luck with your studies, Miss Chishan. <laughs> Thank you so much. As long as I can make it into the academia as an official student, I'll be happy. Where are we going? Oh. <laughs> so, was that everybody? Mm hmm. Three familiar faces should be enough for Sataria. What's the point of all the information we've collected? Nahida, you still haven't told us how you're planning to make Sataria face her problems. Sataria is already used to avoiding her problems, so we must find a way to break through her usual sensibilities. I remember that you mentioned that the Aramites in Port Ormos are all making a fuss about the upcoming resurrection of the Scarlet King. In case we were unaware that it was King Deshret. a boatload of nonsense, the faith of her homeland may turn out to be Sataria's soft spot. Oh, Paimon gets it now! You want to take advantage of the guilt Sataria feels about her homeland! 
Although she knows she should return home to help the people of the desert, all she's done is conspire with the sages. If King Deshret was to make demands of Sataria. Hmm. So, how do we set that up? Well, the Scarlet King is long gone, and Sataria is also too smart to fall for any simple tricks. If we simply engaged her under the guise of the Scarlet King's believers, she would definitely be weary of us, and we may not get anywhere. But if we were to borrow some of her close acquaintances to talk with her, her reaction would probably be very different. So you're still going to so possess people, even though you say you don't do that for ethics reasons. You're going to possess those people we just talked to? Yep. Possess them through the Akasha. Imply that they've already converted to the faith of the Scarlet King. And then convey our made-up will of the Scarlet King. As long as everything goes smoothly, we'll get through to Sataria for sure. She'll never guess that we had anything to do with it. Ah, so I don't know how ethical this is. All the info we collected on these people. It's so that you won't slip up and break form. Possessing them will only work if you can manage to pass off as them. Exactly. So, best of luck with impersonating them. I'm sorry, what? Huh? Best of luck? Look, we don't know how to possess anyone. That's no problem at all. I'll just share all their senses with you once I've possessed them. As long as you're also wearing an Akasha terminal, the effect will basically be Sorry. as if you've possessed them yourself. Yeah, my internet took a massive shit. That is pretty convenient. But why does she have to do this? Can't you do it yourself? Although I've been observing humans for a while, I've never been good at imitating them. Hmm. You're not wrong. It's always been <laughs> painfully obvious whenever you try to pass as Catherine. Alright. Uh, if it was at all possible, I would have preferred to leave these people alone. But seeing how <laughs> things are now, it's like it, yeah. I probably should just accept it and push on. Yeah, don't beat yourself up over it. We're only doing this to help everyone, and we'll only be borrowing them for a little while anyway. Paimon, this is really right. un unethical. Let's give it a go tomorrow afternoon. Wait until the following afternoon. How was, um, hunting monsters, Mori? Are you playing Genshin now? Nice. Do you care about Archon Quest spoilers or nah? I'm presuming not, but... You killed most of your team didn't die? Excellent. We love to see it. Where am I going? <laughs> Where? Oh. Down here. You listen to any stories? Perfect. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip that. Once she starts talking to her acquaintances, we'll find a safe spot to begin possessing them. <laughs> this As um how we'll swear to our side. <laughs> Uncle Uncle Man, to you. Fair. I trust you'll know what to say. Uh, I'm not starting to you feel should not trust nervous. me. You should okay, never trust me. Let's go. Looks like they've already started talking. Let's find a hiding spot and get started. <laughs> Stella, I love you. You're cute. <laughs> that was so scary. That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. Are you still listening to me, Nabia? Oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? I heard everything you said. <sighs> okay, then. You just seemed a little distracted for a moment there. <laughs> oh, Clee. 
fuck's the cat saying? Strange. Your cats seem pretty worked up. Mm, they can Is tell. something wrong? I always thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? Harut and Marut. Ah, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Harut and Marut. <clears throat> so, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? You must have come for another echo of the divine voice of wisdom. Hmm. I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects. But to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. <laughs> you should. You absolutely should, Mori. Well, um, could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? I really just <laughs> I want to get it over with. Out. I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal the truth. Um... Shortly. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, ah, the gods have spoken. The gods are asking, Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? Why haven't I gone home? Do the gods really know everything I've been thinking about? Sitaria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Oh, the gods seem to be truly upset. Uh, Surely running sometimes, oh my god. I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies and ask for their divine forgiveness. And, if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking <laughs> 16, to you right 17. now? 1670. You know, it's Devat. All is possible. Hmm. What an inconsiderate and naive question. The god who is speaking to me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all, the Scarlet King. The S Scarlet King? No wonder he would make such a demand of me. Oh, wait a second. The Scarlet King passed away a long time ago. Even though news of the Scarlet King's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign <clears throat> from the Academia. How can the Scarlet King still exist in real life? Huh? King Deshra's resurrection is a misinformation campaign? What insolence! I am the Scarlet King's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? Oh, no, no. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched <laughs> even this city. <sighs> King oh, Funk had too cool for a normal name, obviously. I'm sorry. I must go now. She just walks off. Clarkly. <laughs> oh, she just ran off in a hurry. She looked pretty upset too. Well yeah. done. Sataria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. To have something she's been trying desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her, that must have shaken her to the core. Nahida, it seems like you understand human emotions really well after all. All I know are some abstract Haribatot theories. In any case, my time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. I'm still trying to make sense of everything. Anyway, enough of that. Let's hurry and catch up to Sataria. Hmm. Kelly right Clarkley, you. since Let's you've been built a one right I can away. breathe for the first time. <laughs> Thank you for that excellent con contribution, Mori, that's going to be in the YouTube video. <laughs> oh, next one. It's okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Masonry work. Oh, right. Your old man's craft. How could I forget? Speaking of, how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? He's feeling a lot better and he's walking more now because his oh, leg is broken. That's good to hear. I have been thinking a lot about him. If I could get some more time off, I'd love to pay him a visit. Actually, while we're talking about him, 
Is he still living in Port Ormos? Yeah, he's been retired there for a while. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. <laughs> please pass on that recently Ayo. faith in the Scarlet King has taken root oh, in Port Ormos and has begun Gay. to spread across Sumeru. He has <laughs> Thank a quick you, Stella. temper and has always been a devout follower of the Dendro Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with those Scarlet King believers because of a difference in beliefs. Oh? So who are you siding with in all of this? The Academia or the Scarlet King? Love you, Stella. Uh, I... <sighs> I'm so jealous of you. You were born a child of the desert. Yet you chose to betray the Scarlet King. And now you spend all your time with this those very harsh from the Academia. Akeem, you don't mean you've also become a believer of the Scarlet King. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? <laughs> can't to be fair, side? she's done some Me? very questionable things. Whoa. I mean, I no idea <laughs> this is very aggressive. This is us as Akeem. I wasn't too harsh, was I? You really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. In my view, <laughs> too it's much. overwhelming for Sataria. But once everything is over, I'll be sure to pay her a visit to her mind and explain <laughs> everything. Sorry, <laughs> fair, Sataria. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, she's done some questionable things against her own morals. Go <laughs> with Catherine's voice. It's the, uh, it's the Dendro Archon, it's Nahida. That's Nahida's oh voice. <laughs> okay. So, she I don't mind it. Have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Like, as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? No, I've been spending all my time studying in the basement. Oh, right. Speaking of strange things... I celebrated the Subzerus okay, festival so many times that I lost count. That was really weird. Wait, how could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Jishan, uh, uh, don't tell me that you've converted to the Scarlet King as well! What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? You, who worked side by side with the Academia, and treated people as nothing more than experimental subjects? Please, please stop! We are way too harsh. Even now, Satari is still trying to run from her problems. But yeah, bitch, you push too hard. She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards. What should we do? This is the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. Oh, we're going to be the guard Listener, as well? You're a member of the Corps of 30, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right away. The situation in the city is getting out of control. Please, try to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. Heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted many residents to their side. <laughs> Heretics? <laughs> what kind of heresy are you talking about? The Scarlet King! Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. Calm down, lady. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Y you know my name? The Scarlet King is immortal, <laughs> and all who defy him will one day pay the price. You must face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the Academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will be ensnared. Child of the Scarlet King, never forget that the desert that belongs to you We're lies basically elsewhere. trying to spook her into so reckoning with her choices. About becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King. In fact, aren't <laughs> you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a That's side? What, so we're basically possessing these people in order to spook what her. What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? 
I do that every Saturday, of course. <laughs> Me, IRL. It seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of the Scarlet King. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the Sage's plans, and from ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. But no matter how much I may try to ignore and get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. It's not too late to turn back. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? <sighs> how do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of the Scarlet King? Or are you the god himself? She's That's so freaked important. out. The important thing is to pass judgment on the Academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. <laughs> I'm just a god now. I've actually never Easy. believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Your Isn't that kind of the same thing? It's a fated opportunity for me to get out of this wretched situation. Please tell me, what can I do for you? So basically, she thinks that we're the Scarlet King now. Great, we finally convinced <clears> them. <throat> How much do you know about the Sage's current activities? I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest Scheme, which is what happened around the Subzeru's festival. But I know very little about the full scope of the overall <laughs> project. <shut> <laughs> I'd assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. <laughs> Uh, I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. This shot is oh, pants. There's Incredible. that's been really bothering me. I heard that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city. And even the sages are still quite wary of him. Dottore? Is that Dottore? Dottore. Outcast that even the sages are still wary of? To fight against the Academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage, and I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. One thing, though, I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The Sages have always closely monitored all activities. Just get a VPN. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. The Academia entrance? <laughs> How you Wouldn't they that should. be too conspicuous? Don't worry about that. I assure you, this won't be a trap. <laughs> Get that not VPM sponsor. <laughs> this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the Academia again. It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to hand you the documents. Alright, I trust you. So, uh, if I were to successfully complete this task, would it mean I've atoned for my wrongdoings? Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. The Dendro Archon? That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. As the God of Wisdom, she's also the one responsible for judging and guiding the scholars. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. Oh. Just as Nahida predicted, we've managed to bring Sataria to our side. The Traveler's Get execution was ingenious. She's the one who deserves all the praise. I'm just amazing, apparently. Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. Pray? But if we're going to pray to the gods, <laughs> aren't we just praying to you? God of wisdom and guardian of the scholars? Mm -mm. No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. <laughs> anyway, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Hello. Catherine, we're here! Oh, um... You are the other Catherine, right? <laughs> That's right. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. Can't we just call her Nahida? Shh. We're on a secret mission tonight, so we need to protect 
Catherine's identity. <laughs> yep. Say it louder, right. Paimon. I don't think anyone heard you. You cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. If something were to happen, my existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. After all, the Academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Yep, yep. Exactly. Just what Paimon was thinking. <laughs> I somehow doubt that. <laughs> Anyway, enough about that. <laughs> Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Don't you feel like something is off? Off? What do you feel is off? Just a little too quiet around here. It's the middle of the night. Of course it's Well, it's, it's 7 p.m., so no, it's Nothing not the middle of the night. you paranoid, are you? No, I think she's right. It really is a lot quieter than usual. <gasps> 7 p.m. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Huh. Maybe it's just a coincidence. <laughs> so Maybe have... Sataria figured out a way to not only distract Dead. the guards, but also to get everyone to go to sleep early, just so we can exchange the documents in peace. I also can't quite figure <laughs> out why things right. feel a little off. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we planned. Well, regardless, as long as you're here with us, Paimon feels a little safer. Okie dokie. Go to the Academia. Uh, there really aren't many people out right now. Let's hope it'll be this quiet in front of the Academia and that Sataria managed to distract all the guards. Don't mind me. Just picking up some shit. Oh, you know what I should do? Switch my team. There are some NPCs out, but not too many. Oh, this all of them up here are still out. It was just in that bit down there that there weren't any. Oh wait, where are we going? In here? Or is it up? Oh, it's up, I think. <laughs> Shinobu has like no health. Our bond is strong! <laughs> play who's out with 20 HP, yeah. Doo -doo. Where are we going? It's still up, I guess. Oh, I could have just... I could have just teleported. It's fine. <laughs> oh, cutscene. triumphant hero returns at last and to a rather spectacular welcome even if i do say so Did myself you're, right? you're the outcast expelled from the academia indeed i am although these days they tend to call me the doctor <laughs> if you're looking me for your researcher play. friend she has already been taken into confinement with some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. <sighs> the people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. What the fuck? <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. No, what should I... we do? These are all just regular people. Leave now. You need to get out of here. What? That guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't 
can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! the words <laughs> I'm see. having a really great time now though you appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness to possess such a powerful mind you must be the god of wisdom and he loves to experiment on children it should be noted because he experimented on Kale in the manga Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> <be far> <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna need to catch your breath first. Uh, is the Hida going to be okay? We only made it out because of her. She can jump between mines. Hopefully, she'll be fine. Paimon wasn't counting on running into a new harbinger here, let alone such a high ranking one. That guy was number two. So scary. Mm. Wow. He called himself the Doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Sataria did say that someone who once got expelled from the academia came back recently. And that even the sages are mm, weary of too, him. so scary. Yep. Sounds like she must have been talking about the doctor. Oh, uh, sorry, that, that cutscene was just so cool. Like, his entrance was amazing. <laughs> um, we underestimated the scale of this problem. Yeah. That the doctors in the picture were no longer just dealing with I love the academia, meeting the new harbingers in game. They're in cahoots with the Fatui. But what are the Fatui after this time? Another Gnosis? I mean, probably. We need to find a way to reunite with Nahida. Yeah. Things would be a lot easier with <laughs> Nahida's help. <laughs> Nahida said, oh, meet fucking again child. Of the city. But we can't just keep waiting around, right? Let's go find. Someone else who might be involved. Uh, you mean... Let's go find Tignari. Oh, right! Wasn't he invited by the sages to work on some project when we were staying with him in the Vidya Forest? That has to be the same project! Even though he turned it down at the time, he might still know something. There's no time to lose. Let's go to Gundarvaville! Okay... Share senses with Nahida through possession using Akasha. Be viewed as the savior of the world by the citizens controlled by Dottore. Hold it right there. Tashvin. A blonde haired traveler and a floating fairy. We've got you all right. What? Take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. Okay, and I'll just fucking. Are you mercenaries from the Core of 30? Kill you with the Aimiko. Did you come here to arrest us? Core of 30? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. Okay, sis. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only Dottore. as the Outcast. The Outcast? An Outcast from the Academia? Sounds like the Doctor. Well, why wouldn't the Doctor just send the Fatui after us? Why aren't they calling him Dottore? Why are they calling him the Doctor? Government Labdog's bro's name is Trashfin. <laughs> Maybe he's taking advantage of the Academia's resources. Still wasting time on idle chit-chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. Get them! Okay, bro. Uh, you're up, Traveler! <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do, Paimon? Right now, emerge. Right now. Wow, that was so hard. Wow. Behold. Right here. Emerge. Right now. Hi. Ha. That was so difficult. <laughs> that was pretty 
rough. Is that what <laughs> no, it wasn't. Those mercenaries are like? <laughs> Probably won't be long before we see more of yeah. them. Looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty good <laughs> boy. Carried, yeah. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Kainari? Oh, he might be like smart people is tough. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> he might be tracking us. Like he might have like planted a device on us. The gaze from a certain god. Okay, lady. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, it's down here. <laughs> oh, it's the Traveler and Paimon. What are you two doing back here? Kale, it's nice to see you again. Are you doing all right? I... <sighs> to be honest, I'm not doing too well. Aww. My Elazar has been progressing at a faster rate lately. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. As a result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. He will only allow me to stay here Aww, and coordinate that fucking people's suck. tasks. Oh, Kale! Seems like curing him and Solas are any chance. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him! Degraded to an amber. Oh, Oof. Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party's DI. Okay, Party's <gasps> DI. Like, I wanted how to pronounce isn't that. Isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation. Yeah, but we went there with him on his story quest. I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time, though. He said he often goes to the party DI. Okay. He didn't give well, a reason? I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I'd guess he had something urgent to take care of. Hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Amorta Darshan of the Academia, and part of DI is something like the Amorta's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. Kinda sus. I know that before you he do became be a secrets. forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research at Party's DI. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party's DI. Okay. Please take care of yourself, Kale. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm used Aww. to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, <laughs> please send him my regards. <laughs> Rip. Got it. Will do. See you later, Kale. <laughs> Wait, look who it is. Nahida. Thank goodness you're okay. We were so worried about you. You haven't been reprogrammed by the doctor, have hey. you? This was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment! It's a genuine question, Actually, Paimon! it's very smart of the Traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, the Doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the Doctor by myself. How do we... Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally Okay, this is definitely Nahida. She sky. speaks in this these weird hmm. metaphors. Paimon feels like only the real Nahida yeah. can come up with such an obscure analogy. I agree. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. <laughs> All I wanted was to clarify my point. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people alright? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. Mm. That was still within my they power. They own that, Mary Jane. 
Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. Whew. What a relief. The doctor sure pulled out <laughs> some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Yeah. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, oh, right, so Sola. it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. We need to hurry. What about Feels Tignari? Like toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the Doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. <laughs> Actually, Nahida... <laughs> How did you know we were trying to get to Party's DI? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. <laughs> I can see the Traveler's elemental energy. So I deduced oh. your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find <laughs> any leads? Go get a drink, Mori. for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. Hold on. Is the little guy here? <gasps> the little guy's here. Well, fine. No luck for you then. <laughs> Traveler? It is you! Hiya. And appearance, Paimon. Long time no ah, see. What a pleasant surprise. It's so nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? <laughs> She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Satyavada life? Oh, I see. That's right. We're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Oh? Papasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest You meet means... them in the first Arkham <gasps> Quest, You're Mari. not in training anymore? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pari Porno Life? They've added a slight <laughs> echo what do you on, think? on the voices because of where we're standing. I've managed to make contact with the Divine. <sighs> You did it? Congratulations! I'm really happy for you. <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last. When my yeah, consciousness make cool. contact with the gods. Ah, oh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was. Are you good, lady? That sounds incredible! She's kind of tweaking a little bit. Actually, we're here for Tignari. Oh, all right. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise. Yeah, to you. she's kind of. <laughs> Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the divine. Okay. You, you can do that? Do you believe, Hanahita? I've never heard of anything like that, but. If you want to give it a try, I'll do yeah, my best to protect us. your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit borneo with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Uh, we're using that incense again? All right now. Hold my hand. I'll help you this establish sort of feels a pathway like... to connect your consciousness. Okay. This sort of feels like... Dottori has like... Ready? Fucked with her. Although she's still wearing an Akasha, so I don't know. He, She would need to be wearing an Akasha for him to do that, I think. 
We're also not, we're also too far from Sumeru City. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. Skarmage. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Oh, the crocodile's voice. Valuing strength above all. She saw no worth in me and I was discarded. <laughs> you do the fun thing, bro. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Enjoy life, Stella. Consumed by fear. He saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans. They can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate and ready to receive a supreme gnosis brimming with pure divinity <laughs> there is no need to fear the pain will be brief your era is coming to an end That was so cool. <laughs> but I do feel really bad for him, yeah. <laughs> this is neither the Greater Lord's consciousness nor King Deshret's consciousness. Did we actually just see the Balladeer's memories? Everything matches what we know <laughs> about him. face is incredible. Him. What's going on in the uh, thumbnail? But how is he connected to the divine consciousness that Hapasia was talking about? You saw it, right? You felt it, right? Oh, such a majestic god! Such a noble will, such sublime emotion. Bruh. Alas, shame. If only, if only that which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart. Oh, oh great and merciful God, please grant me forgiveness and salvation. Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri porno life, but rather. <laughs> Wake up, Papasia. You! Why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? Bro, she is Papasia. tweaking. That's how I always thought everything should be. Wait. Have I... Already lost my mind? She was very chill when we first meet her, so all of the behavior... That's why I was so, like, kind of, like, taken aback. Like, even when we first started talking to her, like, she's acting differently than she does at this, in the first quest. <laughs> yeah, she really has. Bro, what the fuck? Wait, something isn't right! Are we in a dream? Again? Another cutscene, jeez. Me with my fucking dull blade. Again.
What? I see you. What the fuck is happening? Was so trippy. Okay, we finally lost him. <gasps> Are you okay, Nahida? Wait, no, something feels different. <gasps> You're back. He can oh, fan daddy and go me all he wants. Oh my god, Mori. <laughs> it's me. Nahida was controlling your body for a while. It seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. So, like... After that, Tainari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. So the... So this Catherine puppet is just deceased? So there's no Catherine in Samara now? Our minds swap places. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? <laughs> Just a mushroom guy in the back. Wait, then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? <sighs> I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness, so I can't journey with you anymore. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still oh drown God. out illusions and lies. <sighs> oh no! He is trapped in the sanctuary of Sora's Donna for good this time! Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. It's in a code that only only we know. Code that only we know. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing. She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from the <laughs> alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with mm, Sataria. Yeah. The moon refers to Nahida herself. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Huh. Do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? But... She isn't with us anymore. Uh, think we'll be okay? Pino, Fuck if I know. You said Sanctuary of Suristana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, the consciousness who was occupying the Traveler's body is... the Dendro Archon? Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, <laughs> so it's really hard bit. for us to explain right now. That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. He's like, bro, I just As talked to the, the dead the <laughs> nature of the situation, safe to say I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so... <laughs> I, mean, I trust he's you. He's just like, what? Thank you, Tainari. Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the sages have been working <laughs> it's on? It's crush. Ah, that... While I was indeed invited to join that project, the sages were always secretive about its scope and goals, so I eventually declined. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermensol. I think I know what the project is about. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? The Academia is turning the Balladeer into a god. What? <laughs> do you have any evidence? 
I saw a nascent god under construction. <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. So that's what happened. That explains why Hypatia's symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. <laughs> Same. It's because I she one. made contact with the consciousness of a new god who is still in the process of being born. Tainari, did you leave the Avidia forest because of Hypatia? I did. I noticed Hypatia's mental anomalies, but since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Parties Dia um. and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. If I didn't take action, Hypatia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, Th doomed to a life of exile. The scholars that go village. mad, now they that just you take them to the village and leave. I knew the academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser Lord Kusanali, but. But I still didn't expect <laughs> them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god. Looks like I made the right decision by not accepting their invitation. The Fatui may have found the flames. The doctor and the Balladeer. We have two Fatui Harbingers in Sumeru. Sounds like we're in for a bad time. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene. But then, what is the connection between creating a new god and restoring Ermin's soul? Yeah, it feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the sage's goals. Right, let's head to the right. desert for now. We've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. How about you, Tainari? What are you going to do? I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things to help Apasia. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rabat. That'll Rabat, be your fastest okay. route. Come find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. May the spirit of wisdom go with you. Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully, Hapasia will feel better soon. We're off then. I've been saying Rabat, but Rabat, fair enough. <laughs> the god gazes back. Jeez. The four at loggerheads. Logger? I hardly know her. Damn, this is so spicy. This has been, what, three big cutscenes so far? And we're, like, not far into it. So now about wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed. This was so dramatic. I loved so much of it. Seeing Scaramouche, meeting Dottore. I love Dottore's English voice actor. He sounds so cool. It was so dramatic that scene when he was introduced. I am so excited to see where this story goes. Next episode, we will be finally going to the desert and hopefully meeting up with Sino and maybe I'll hate them. Stay tuned for that. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I will see you next episode. Bye guys! <laughs>